welcome to another video of Rhea and Google Weekly Vlogs. And since it's summer, we're going to be showing you some safety tips for you to share. For us to share to you. So the, the first, first one, one is wear, wear sunscreen. sunscreen. So it's very, very important to wear sunscreen, everyone, because it is it risks the exposure <laughs> of you getting sunburnt. And it's best to apply it before you shower. I mean, after you shower. Because just in case you want to get clean before you go out. Yeah, so what happens if you get sweaty or something? Then you have to get now sunscreen I won't be after you shower. So the second one is to stay hydrated. So it's very, very important to stay hydrated because it is... It, like, the advantages is like muscle fuel. <laughs> so just like a car, it uses petrol or diesel as its fuel for like getting on of the day. And just like for our human body, we need water for the fuel, like to get like to keep strong and healthy. So water also gives us clear skin, not the invisible skin, like not invisible, but like it doesn't. It reduces the patches of and pimples things in your skin and also it um, reduces the cal calorie control so we know we love food we eat it every day but we might get some calories when we're eating that food so it, um, water controls the calories that we um, have in our body to keep it healthy and clean so it's like a balanced diet yes. so the next one um, it removes toxins in your body. So like all type of like illnesses or anything. Bad chemicals. It can cure it because mm -hmm. it like washes away all of the things. All of the bad stuff. And also um, it helps with brain boost. So um, it's very, very good for your brain. It keeps it like very, very healthy and stuff. Washes new memories. <laughs> <laughs> And also it fluid balance. So like, um, what do you do? Wait, but what happens if we don't drink enough water? Well, of course you're going to be dehydrated. But do you know the signs and symptoms? No. Well, I will show you. So of course you'll be feeling thirsty because you don't have enough water inside of you. Oh, yeah. And also, it um, it gives you dark and yellow and strong smelling urine or pee. Ugh. Okay. Maybe I have some, you know, stuff. Maybe you might be feeling dizzy or, like, like you'll be feeling dizzy without any water. Like, correct. It keeps your brain control. Um, maybe you might get dry mouth, lips and eyes. Yeah, so we can also not only control the lips and mouth, it can also control the eyes. Because you know how we get teary and stuff? Yes, it's like because from the, water. the body, like, the water from your body maybe comes in your eyes and then, like, you need to blink for the water which you use in your body to wet it. And, of course, one of the signs and symptoms is that when you don't drink water, less urine comes out. So there'll be like a very little amount because there's not a mu much water inside of you. Water waste. And, yeah. So um, whenever you're thirsty or don't drink, um, you just um, drink before you exercise and stuff. Or maybe during your exercise, so then you don't feel like like panting too much. So drink at least 64 ounces of fluids every day. So that will be very, very healthy for you. But not the most healthiest fluid is water because it is a natural resource given from the earth. I know you love fizzy, like fizzy drinks or juice, but they may contain like... Bad stuff. Sugar. Yeah, a lot sugar. of sugar. But yeah, water chemicals. is very good. It's very, very good. Fizzy drinks and juices. Even though it like produces a lot of fruit, it's still man-made. Means that it was like 
made from factories and stuff and it's like bad for the environment <clears throat> and also i um, minimize the caffeine like okay. coffee the caffeine yeah because like coffee is also like man-made and it's not very good it gives you high blood pressure i think mm. And avoid alcohol and sugary beverages like cakes, ice cream, and others. But um, because some fruits contain sugars, those sugars are very very healthy for you because they are they contain nutrients and minerals that are very good. Mm. So number three is always check your cars or vehicles vehicles before driving so that is very very important especially if you want to go on holiday if you're going by car going to your destination like a holiday or the beach you have to check if you have enough fuel or diesel to fill up your car for the rest of the journey what happens if you don't have any well guess what it's going your car is going to stop and it'll create more like it will create heavy traffic jam and if you're having a plan like going to the beach it, it can will delay it it will can spoil your fun so make sure that you um check your, your vehicles vehicles or. just to make sure they work mm -hmm. so since we've done number three it's now number four which is eating healthy food. So that's very, very good, including vegetables and fruits like water lemon, which contains... Water lemon? Yeah. Water watermelon, <laughs> which contains... Many 90 mistakes. Which contains 93% water. And also radishes, cauliflower, zucchini and pepper contains 90% of water. Butternut squash butternut squash or pumpkin, or pumpkin contains 85 percent of water. water so that includes so all healthy foods include like um fruits and vegetables like carrots which is very good for the eyes tomatoes potatoes um other stuff which contain many minerals and other stuff exactly did you know that rain contains vitamin b12 no vitamin b12 okay so number five is to wear a sun hat yes i don't know where my sun hat is but never mind okay so it's very very important to wear a sun hat because it um expose it doesn't it, it reduces the exposure to um getting too sun. much sunlight yes just like sun cream it protects you from being sunburnt from your face okay and it protects your head <laughs> it's very very important to protect your head especially the brain and the skull which can get affected very very easily so it's very important you only have one brain one skull so you need to protect it exactly So the next one, number six, is if you have like limit, sleep. limit sun exposure. Okay. So um, limit sun sun exposure means to um like go in shades and stuff. Like at school, we have the shade, but a clear shade, and like people wear umbrellas. For the shades it's like a giant shed for you to um like bring with you wherever you go like it's not just for rain it's also for, for um like, the sun so um umbrellas are very very handy so number yeah. seven good sleep it's best if you have a black one because if you have clear one it can still get sleep so number seven good sleep is very very important to get good good sleep especially if you're going to school that is very very good to um have a great sleep eight hours and above would be all right for, for adults and for children, children it can get 10 hours like we do sometimes sometimes i sleep nine hours or something <laughs> 
so um it's very very good to have good sleep just in case because if you get very very tired and you can't concentrate you might faint that would be a very very um sad moment i am taking things too far so number eight keep hand sanitizer on hand so it's very very important especially in this coronavirus pandemic to bring hand sanitizer you can only use hand sanitizer if you have no access to the toilets to um, wash your hands, wash with, your soap hands and water. with soap and water for 20 seconds so at least hand sanitizer will save you but it's more important to wash hands it's only to shield your hands from any germs and bad bacteria so that's very very good if you cannot wash hands with soap and water And number nine, have a first aid kit. So Kiana has been very, very prepared right now. <laughs> she has so much things. It con the first aid kit must contain this, some tape, some wipes, antibacterial wipes to wipe the bruises off, some dressings. So like bandages and stuff. Oh, this is a very nice one. Yes, yeah, some small plasters and big plasters. It depends on the size of the boobs. The wound. Yes. Yeah, so um, when you wear white, like when you put wipes on the thing, like on the bruise, you have to um wipe it off first. So then the germs from the things that you the dripped dirt, over. Yeah does not get inside your body or else it will create bad chemicals. Bad mm. chemicals which lead to infection. <laughs> okay, you carry on. So the next one is to get fresh <laughs> air in open spaces or wear a mask in crowded places. Especially, um, it's very, very important to get fresh air especially um it's very good for breathing and stuff and very mm. very important especially if it's fresh air can dry off the sweat from good you. for the lungs good for the lungs also because you breathing. breathe in fresh air and if you're in crowded places then make it's sure best to wear if you wear a mask especially in this coronavirus pandemic yes and you also need fresh air because if you breathe in the same air you breathe you might get something get like chemicals, bad chemicals used from someone else and breathed from someone else. So bye everyone, hope you enjoy this video of Ray and Girl UK Vlogs and please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell button, you know why. And make sure that um, you are safe and, and enjoy your summer. Bye. bye.